Hi, I am Adelina Emine, and today we will talk about marketing and media, including social media platforms, in order to clarify importance of marketing in economy and digital world. It is an honor for me to spend time together to specify contribution of women and girls in these important fields. After more than 10 years working in marketing and civil society activism, while most of the people are using social networks and web platforms for communication and information, concept of classic marketing has changed rapidly, together with economy and social life. The American Marketing Association defines marketing as the process of planning and executing the conception, pricing, promotion, and distribution of ideas, goods, and services to create exchange that satisfy individual and organizational goals. More specific category of marketing is digital marketing, which we face every day on TV and internet. Digital marketing is a broad term that includes all marketing channels and methods you can use to promote products and services on the internet but also on electronic devices such as TVs, mobile phones, and electronic billboards. Every one of us know who is Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft. One of the most famous quotes of Mr. Gates is, if your business is not on the internet, then your business will be out of business. When you have an internet business, it doesn't have to be about selling physical products. In fact, digital information products are one of the easiest and quickest ways to make money online. Provide what they want to know, what they want to learn. You are having income while making things easy and fast for them. They don't need much time searching for the solution. Now, they pay your services at the same time. Thank you for making things easy for them. The way how you decide to introduce your business has to do with profile, services, and products which you offer to customers. But if you decide to hide your business profile, it will be very problem to expand your sales and target new customers. Therefore, will be problem doing business under such conditions. Now, let's talk about history of marketing. In some ways, marketing is as old as civilization itself. You may have seen films based in ancient Greece or Rome, which images of best-selling market stalls and traders actively engaged in convincing communications. Of course, these traders would not have called their activities marketing, and their activities may seem far removed from someone ordering airline tickets via website. The concept of marketing that we know, see, has more to do with developments during the industrial revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries. This was a period of rapid social change driven by technological and scientific innovation. For more information, you can check the BBC website history. One result was that for the first time, the production of goods was separated from their consumption. Mass production, developing transport, infrastructure, and growing mass media mean that producer needed to and could develop more sophisticated ways of managing the distribution of goods. From the 1960s onwards, most markets have become saturated. The size of the market remains the same. This means that there is no intense competition for customers. The sophistication of marketing management has therefore developed into what we now see in a modern marketing department. Marketers are involved at a strategic level within the organization and therefore inform an organization about what should be produced, where it should be sold, 
how much should be charged for it, and how it should be communicated to consumers. Modern marketers research markets and consumers. They attempt to understand consumer needs and potential needs and allocate organizational resources appropriately to meet these needs. Modern marketers are particularly interested in brands. They are also increasingly interested in ensuring that employees understand marketing. Example, that everyone within the organization involves themselves with marketing activities. So what might we take from this very brief historical perspective? Firstly, consider that marketing started as inward-looking discipline, focusing on what the organization produced. Now, marketing is outward-looking. It brings an understanding of markets, of consumers, into other organization. Secondly, we might consider that the marketing that you are familiar with today is, in fact, a very recent development. Marketing is still a very new subject. You might also note that although we can talk about a marketing orientation, many organizations, especially small and medium enterprises, act as though they are still in a period of production or sales orientation. In the absence of a good understanding of marketing, organizations may still focus on production or sales. Thirdly, modern definition of marketing hides the fact that the development of modern marketing management has not been a coordinated process. Origins in production and managing distribution mean that manufacturers have been quicker to adopt marketing practice than say, the service sector, including banks, and much of the tourism industry. Finally, we might consider that marketing has changed rapidly over the century and it continues to change. The source of activities that we might be involved with at and the end of your marketing career might be very different from the marketing we see today. As a professional marketer, you should be particularly sensitive to changes in society, technology, and the world economy. As we all know, marketing is now focusing more on social media. But let's talk about the difference between digital marketing and social media is that social media marketing is just one of the av available channels of digital marketing. Many people believe that by engaging on social media, they are doing digital marketing, but this is not 100% true. Since we have online marketing channels like Google Play, Apple Store, email marketing, online advertising, etc., we also have offline digital channels as television, radio, SMS, digital billboards, indoor and outdoor. Today, social media is the most popular buzz world in internet marketing for the last couple of years. The success of the new generation of social media platforms, mainly Facebook and Twitter, changed the way we socialize, interact and shop. This also brought new channels to digital marketing as well. Social media is the term we use to describe platforms that bring people together for the exchange of information. The most popular social media platforms are Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. If we compare the two side by side, we will find that digital marketing goes beyond the internet and tries to reach people in the offline world using digital means, while social media is limited to the boundaries of the internet. A digital marketing campaign may include one or more components, internet, advertising, mobile ads, TV, SMS, etc. While a social media strategy 
may include one or more social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Social media is strongly associated with a content strategy. Example, you create content and new social media to promote it while digital marketing can really rely entirely on banners, either on the internet, TV or billboards for promotion. Now, it is important to know the difference between the different marketing theories so that you can select the most appropriate tools to use in your campaigns. Digital marketing is the future of marketing and will gradually gain more ground in the online and offline world. Social media, on the other hand, is the new way to connect with other people. It is part of digital marketing and it is here to change the way we find new customers and promote our products. My experience in marketing and civil society is one of the most important examples how we could be successful as women or girls in marketing and media. In marketing, creativity and success is beyond gender, is dedication, work and planning. Except promotion of goods and services for companies, as women and girls, we should start promoting our possibility to contribute in society, achieve success and develop our initiatives. This is the best philosophy of marketing in practice how to be successful and then this success to convert in business initiatives.